Hey there, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about some of the things that should be obvious to all of us. In fact, I want to talk to you about some of the things that are obvious to the entire world. Now, I'd like to do that by coming to 1 John chapter 3, verse 10, and bringing it into our conversation. For you see, it's in 1 John 3, verse 10, where God and his word tell us that the children of God and the children of the devil will be obvious. That we are obvious as we live a life fully devoted to Christ. We are countercultural. We are odd in our obvious commitment to Christ. And the Bible tells us the same is true of those who are living in and for sin or self or Satan, that the children of the devil are obvious. Now that's a declaration of truth in love from God in God's word. So I don't want to ask you whether or not you accept that truth. It is truth whether you accept it or not. Instead, I want to ask you how you relate to that truth, that declaration from God and his word. Are you, Christian, obvious in your devotion to Christ? Or are you one who, in your lack of commitment to Christ, do you realize that if you're not obvious for Christ, you're obviously for the enemy of our souls? This is, again, not my teaching, not my words. This is the word of God. 1 John 3, verse 10. I'm not looking to put you into a box. I'm not looking to peg you in as this or that, left or right, in or out. I simply want to lay before you the word of God and ask you to ask yourself and to ask others. Are you, are they, obvious in terms of your love and your devotion, your adopted status into the family of God, or by doing absolutely nothing but living in the status quo, or what Jesus might call lukewarmness, are you making it obvious in both the mirror and out on the mission field that you are not in the family of God. I want to ask you, be honest. In what ways are you obvious? In what camp does your life obviously point? Food for thought, the word of God. I pray that this will inform, inspect, and inspire you to Christ-likeness. Amen and amen.